Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Nothing evokes that tropical feeling quite like the frangipani flower. Their sweet scent and their sheer beauty make them universally loved. Here in Key West, we're fortunate to have the Frangipani Art Gallery, which has that same beauty thanks to the fabulous artists that are represented there. My first guest this morning has her work featured in the gallery. Now, she's used many different mediums throughout the year, but she's best known for her beautifully decorated Fantasy Fest costumes and beautifully decorated gourds. You'll be seeing photos of these behind us. Suzanne, thank you so much for being on the show oh, with me today. Thank you for having me, Jenna. The first question I have for you, Suzanne, are you going to be decorating costumes this year for Fantasy Fest? Yes, it's such a great theme this year, we couldn't pass it up, mm -hmm. uh, Conkalypse. It had just too many wonderful ideas, so mm -hmm. we've narrowed it down to one, and we're going to be starting here shortly. Okay, so you haven't had to start yet. Uh, no, we're running a little behind schedule. <laughs> we like to start September 1st, but uh, mm -hmm. I had to return my grandson to his son, so uh, okay. that <laughs> took up some time. Okay, <laughs> understandable. I could see why a grandson would be knowing. <laughs> How long have you been in Key West for? I have been here for 33 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how long have you been doing the Fantasy Fest costumes? I believe we started in 91, 90 or 91 with pet costumes that was really what started us mm -hmm. out on it we had always gone to fantasy fest but never really participated and uh, one year I just needed to humiliate my kitty cat and dress him up as Cat of Miranda. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we did that for two years and then the third year was lost in the 60s and I wanted to do the Yellow Submarine and at the time I had quite a large dog, half Dobie and half Great Dane, so big boy. And we made a submarine and we tried to put it in on him and he said, no way. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up with adapting it for me mm -hmm. and did Pretenders that year and um, there were a couple other contests that year and also did the parade and we were hooked. Mm -hmm. so you were yeah. hooked, and you're still doing it this year. Yep. All right, and now along with doing that, I mentioned that you make these beautiful gourds. Mm -hmm. How did you get into this? That I kind of stumbled into that one day. I was in a bookstore uh, up in the real world and just killing time, mm -hmm. and I found a book on these beautifully decorated gourds. They're not just for birdhouses. It's mm -hmm. an amazing thing. I had never seen them before. And I've always liked natural uh, artwork that incorporates natural elements to it. Uh, so I went on the internet, and uh, this was about 10 years ago, and started ordering gourds on eBay or wherever, and uh, found a couple of places. Surprisingly, there are state gourd societies, of which Florida has one, and they have a show every year. So I went to the shows and just kind of started learning, uh, taking some classes and figuring out what you can do with it. Because a gourd is basically a round piece of wood. You can mm -hmm. do anything to a gourd that you can do to wood. You can wood burn it, you can carve it, you can cut holes in it, you mm -hmm. can paint it with all kinds of different mediums. So it's mm -hmm. very versatile. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and even if it's only about this big, you've got a lot of surface area if you're considering that it's round, not flat, like mm -hmm. regular painted artwork. So it's just uh, a way to create in, that gives you limitless opportunities. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that appealed to me. Okay. <laughs> and now this is what we can find in the Frangipani Art Gallery. Mm -hmm. I have uh, a number of uh, my gourds there that are wood burned that are uh, I don't think I have any carved gourds there right now some with weavings on top because mm -hmm. I do really like natural fabric and and natural reed and materials philodendron leaves wonderful thing to weave with and um, I also have uh, some queen palm pods in there as well something that I do from time to time not as much as the gourds okay. 
And, uh, now, I, I mentioned earlier that you do many different mediums, Suzanne. Mm -hmm. What are you doing right now, focusing on mainly? This year, I focused on a project learning how to work with encaustic paints, which is painting with wax. It's a pigmented wax. And um, I g was fortunate enough to get a uh, uh, scholarship from the Anne McKee Scholarship Fund, a grant not a scholarship grant, uh, to do this project. And I walked around town and I photographed uh, small little vignettes of the various styles of gingerbread all over the island. Because there are so many wonderful ones, violins, conch shells, the traditional scroll work, mm -hmm. ones that look like chickens, fish, mm -hmm. sailboats. Um, and just kind of focused on them with the foliage around them. I then uh, took those photographs that I, I like the best, mm -hmm. and printed them on canvas, and then did an encaustic interpretation of that photograph, um, and had my show at Frenchy Penny Gallery this past March, I think it was, mm -hmm. and uh, it, I was thrilled by the medium. It's so fluid. It is a natural thing, which kind of goes along with what I like, is mm -hmm. the natural elements to stuff, because it's partly, you know, it's mostly wax. Wax right. and tree sap. Mm -hmm. The tree sap is the hardener that makes the surface hard. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to gouge a hole in it, you could, but mm -hmm. you would need a tool or, mm -hmm. you know, you would need to try and try and hurt it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a, a lovely liquid form that you can manipulate with heat and mm -hmm. so you can paint something and put this nice crisp line and then heat it and it just sounds beautiful. Works into an abstract kind of thing. Mm -hmm. so. And you can see some of that behind us. And of course if you want to check out Suzanne's work, you can contact her by the email number you located on the bottom of the screen. You can also call her as well or stop by <laughs> Frangipani Art Gallery. Thank you so much for showcasing your work and talking with me this Thank morning. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be right back after these messages. Please stay with me, everyone.